Hey y'all and welcome to the fourth episode of Cybergrain Tech in 5 minutes. This time we're going to be covering M365 Mobile Application Management. Mobile Application Management, or just MAM, is an extension or actually more an evolution of mobile device management. Whereas with mobile device manage management, you have to take control over the entire device, with mobile application management, you're targeting specific applications and the protection policies around that. In these days where bring your own device is becoming more and more prevalent and having complete access, unfettered access to a device is starting to become less and less because people just don't want it anymore, mobile application management pretty much is the future. So let's jump into creating some policies and working on mobile application management. So, the first thing you'll have to do is you'll have to browse to endpoint.microsoft.com and you might be familiar with this uh, interface. This is just the Intune portal in which you also create autopilot policies, for example. In our case, we're jumping straight to apps and app protection policies. App protection policies are the policies that we'll, we'll be using for mobile application management. With the little plus symbol here, you can create a policy and you can select iOS or iPadOS, Android or Windows 10. In our case, we're going to be protecting an iOS app. So we'll click on that. And the great benefit about being able to select those is that you can target apps very specifically. Specifically, you can say, I only want to target Android on iOS or, or um, sorry, Android on Outlook or Teams on iOS. In our case, we'll be doing just that. We're going to be targeting Teams on iOS. We'll click next and from there on we'll be able to select our apps. Not all apps have mobile application management capabilities. It has to be built into the app itself. Fortunately, the most major providers have started doing this for you. For example, one of the first things you'll see in the portal right here is Adobe Acrobat Reader. And in this entire list are a lot of applications, both external and internal, so we'll just use the search to find Microsoft Teams, which is what we want to use today. We'll select this, and you can also see that you have a custom app selection option. If you have an in-house app or a custom app in general, it might also be supported for mobile application management as long as the app supports it. So then you can select your custom app and configure those settings. So now we'll click on Next. And now we'll actually have the ability to set some DLP policies. And these DLP policies, quite simply, are to prevent data from moving across the device to different apps or printing or all that kind of stuff. We can even forbid specific applications to be backupped by the standard tooling. So in this case, we're saying like, hey, do we want iTunes and iCloud backups to include our team's data? We want to block that because we don't want our data to be just be everywhere. And here you can have a lot of selection options. For example, you can say, hey, is this app allowed to send organizational data to other apps? For example, can they copy and paste a file to Dropbox? You can say you only want that on policy management apps or policy managed apps with OS sharing or policy managed apps with open in and share. Uh, share filtering. These are all very explicit and you'll have to configure these for yourself. In this case, we won't. You are also always able to exempt specific apps. For example, you want Dropbox to be used, you can say, hey, you can do it with any app except Dropbox. Um, another couple of cool options are that you can forbid third-party keyboards and you can enable encryption. And this is pretty key because this isn't device-level encryption. This means that the application has to store its data in an encrypted location, for example, a secure enclave or whatever. So that's pretty cool. So we'll click on next, and then we can actually set our access requirements, which is another added benefit. Normally, when you apply an MDM policy or just an exchange policy, immediately users will have to start entering a PIN on their phone. In this case, you're also requi requiring a PIN on the application itself. That means you don't need to have a PIN on the phone because when you enter the application, you can enter a PIN for that specific app. The beautiful thing about this is that a lot of apps that don't support PINs, normally speaking, for example, Teams or these kind of policies, you can still enforce a way for uh, the application to be protected. Um, 
you can select what type of pin, or if you even want to enable a pin, you can say, I want it to be numeric, or I want it to be a passcode pin. And you can even say like, okay, you know what? I want the minimum length to be 16, but please don't do that. Your users will get very annoyed very quickly. Um, you can say you want to use biometrics or timeouts, and these are all very specific policies you'll have to set for yourself, but it does show the power of mobile application management. Instead of having to worry about, is the device in a state, you're asking, is the device in a state good enough to be able to use this application to access company resources? So once you click Next, you'll even have a bit more options, which is just standard app conditions, but this is actually pretty cool functionality. You can say the maximum pin attempts and all that kind of stuff, but if you click here, you can even say, I want to control what happens when there's a disabled account. If I disable the user accounts, I want to wipe, wipe all data. And that means the next time the user opens the app or the app connects to the Office 365 servers, it'll wipe the data immediately as it sees the user is disabled. So it gets back, hey, user disabled, okay, we'll start wiping the data. And you can do the same for jailbroken devices. A user can set up their phone and access uh, the application at first, and they'll immediately have blocked access at the moment they jailbreak their device. Or you can even dare say, we want to wipe the data completely. So now we can click next and you can select specific groups. In our case, we'll just select the marketing group because those always have teams on their phone. And we'll click next again. And you'll get a nice little overview, a text-based overview on exactly what you set up. And this is actually good for compliance too. You can just copy and paste this to a compliance report and saying, this is how we enforce our data to be secured. But let's recap that, shall we? What we've done is we've created a new policy. That policy applies on all iOS devices to protect Teams data. From there on, on all iOS devices, a PIN will be required before you can open Teams. That doesn't mean you need a complete phone PIN, but just the application will request you to enter a PIN, which is pretty cool and it's nice added functionality. If you're doing the same on Android, you might, Android, you might have to deploy a new application which is the Intune application, just to make sure that when a PIN is entered or when encryption is required, that can be processed correctly. Mobile application management is the future for bring your own device devices. It's an extension of mob mobile device management, and I even dare say the evolution of it. Mobile device management has no, no more place in work from anywhere, where mobile application management gives you a lot of granular control of, for each application that your users are using. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.